For Engineering News, I'm Joanne Taylor. Ron McLarty from Afrimol joins me in studio to discuss South Africa's tooling, precision engineering and manufacturing industry. Welcome. Morning. What roles are Afrimold and the Toolmaking Association of South Africa expected to play in developing growth in the industry? Mm. I would hope that uh, Afrimold, together with t uh, the Toolmaking Association of South Africa, can put a good face forward in stirring up the business and starting to um, rejuvenate an industry that has fallen behind. And um, Afrimold, which is happening next month in um, or October from the 10th to the 12th, will be a benchmark for the industry to have a look at what's available, what can be done, and also join in with the conference. And the conference is dealing with uh, the base subjects that um, we need um, in rejuvenating this stagnating industry. What areas in the industry have the most growth potential? As a toolmaker myself, they can um, um, grow in almost every sphere. You know, when you look at it, the uh, plastics industry that uses a lot of tooling um, is is bigger than the gold mining business. So there's a huge potential of even taking it one step further, training people, rejuvenating, working smarter. Um, about time we got our machines working 24 hours a day and having toolmakers trained to be able to, to work those sort of hours. So there's huge potential and I, I see that having a platform like Afrimold and having the Toolmaking Association working in conjunction with the show, we can interest a lot more people in the industry and look at trying to rejuvenate from a, from a quite a low base. What employment opportunities are present in the industry and what are the strategies in place to develop skills and create jobs? If you look at the industry as it is today, it is in decline and the sad part about it is that um, we're not training enough toolmakers. Now the NTIP and TASA are working on strategies to get more people into the industry. We're hoping to be able to train something like um, um, 600 per year starting uh, from last year and that number can be increased depending on how much we can um, how much resource we can put into it so um, and as a toolmaker myself having worked in throughout Europe um, there's not a country in the world that wouldn't take a good kind a uh, good toolmaker um, so the the, um, the possibilities are endless we are short of work but Toolmakers seem to be totally immune to recession. And what will be showcased at Afrimold this year? Afrimold this year, we're doing everything um, along the lines of application development, which is if you've got a part to be made, bring it to the show. You can go through all the spheres of, of, of from design, material selection, through to finished part. Um, it's, it's quite unique in that it is focused, it is um, highly specialised, um, so we're doing everything from material selection, prototyping, 3D printing, which is a huge field in today's world, and then going through towards um, uh, manufacturing the part. And that doesn't mean it doesn't mean it has to be a plastic part. It can be any part uh, that needs some precision engineering and machining done to it. So it's very broad. That was Ron McLarty from Afrimold talking about the tooling, precision engineering, and manufacturing industry.